Hi, it's Megan. I've had a totally crazy week, so I have a whole bunch of videos I want to do, but I haven't really gotten to it. So the ones I most wanted to do were two lipstick videos, so I just figured I was going to do those and just not worry about the other stuff. So I got a bunch of stuff from Lancome, and I got one of their kind of bridal summer collection eyeshadows, so at some point I'm going to get to that and do like a whole bridal makeup thing. But in getting that, I got three of the Lancome Rouge in Love lip colors, which is the lip sticks. And these are 0.12 ounces, which is about normal for lipsticks. Even though the case looks a little shorter and smaller than most, it's about the same size as almost all lipsticks. Max a little smaller. You've seen the ones a little bigger, but it's about the same. And these are $28.50, but Lancome does tons of amazing sales on their site. So if you like Lancome and you aren't signed up for their site, you should do so because they constantly offer discounts. So this is the new formula. Lancome has been really aggressively going after a younger audience and I remember Lancome from years and years and years ago and then I kind of figured I didn't want to wear Lancome anymore because it's such an old brand. I wanted kind of the newer, more fun brands and started buying those. I've got a siren in the background as soon as I hit the play, right? So according to Lancome, this radiant color lasts for hours, has the look of a brilliant gloss, but delivers the comfort and soothing qualities of a balm. And there are three categories. They're by mood. So one includes Jolie Martins, can't pronounce French at all, which is pretty morning, and those are ready to wear fresh day shades that they say add brilliance to lips. Do the precious mother of pearls, isn't that cool? But door time, trendy, punchy, evening appropriate it shades. They also have the Mother of Pearl, and then Tonight is My Night, sophisticated, intense shades to give depth to lips for a deep lacquered effect and luminous color created by Gold Mother of Pearl. And so, so if you can see, you probably can't see, but on here, a lot of the shades are identified with an N or a B or whatever, based on what category they fall into. They say it has medium to full coverage and high color payoff. And long wear color is formulated with a new generation of polymer, which is silicone, which is where you get the glass from. So B means Bedora time, the kind of, what was that? The trendy punchy evening appropriate. N means the night. And then the M are the ones for the daytime. So how did I think? So anyway, but the basic premise of these is that they're a little bit lighter to kind of appeal to a younger audience on the lips. And then the silicon basically makes them a little bit shinier. Um, they're supposed to feel like a second skin, six hours. They're supposed to smooth and soften lips with nourishing or repairing oils. And there's oil concentrated deposit on the lips and maintains the comfort of a balm. So what did I think? So I got three. The one I have on my lips right now is called Coral in Love, and this one's like all over the internet. It seems like everyone bought this. This is number 322. This one does not have a little M or N or whatever, but this basically is a daytime color. If you look at it, it's like a pinky, corally kind of color. Just one of those neutrals that you either like or you hate. It looks like this, and I have outdoor swatches. And like this. It's a little sleek little case, which is kind of pretty. If you swatch it, it's just a really pretty sheen-like effect. And I think when they say medium to full coverage, with this one I would actually say, and I've got really pigmented lips, which is why I like to change these on camera, so you'll see, I would say this is medium, not medium to heavy coverage. Honestly, it's just, maybe it's because I have pigmented lips, it's almost, not sheer exactly, but sheer-ish. Definitely I get good coverage, I get even coverage, it gets every part of my lip. Sometimes I have fading with my top upper lip. Um, and I really like the color. I think it's great. It lasts six hours. Okay, most never, never to lip colors, except maybe some of those long wear lipsticks last six hours on me. If I'm lucky, I get five. So this particular color lasts about three hours. They do really wear well. As far as gloss like, um, I have yet to find a hybrid formula that is lipstick based that's totally like a gloss, but this comes close. So this I would kind of rank up there with the Stilla. Uh, what do they, they call the color bomb? I would say that you definitely have a more glossy finish. I really love this lipstick um, because it does wear well. I love the colors. I tried a million of them on. So there's what, 24 colors? I tried probably 18 of them on and 
they worked really beautifully and that I've found is not always the case even with a big line sometimes I just don't do well with a lot of them it may be 20 versus 24 I'm trying to see in my notes what it was but I think it was 24 so anyway I loved a lot of the colors this particular color is a super great neutral if you like corals that's number one number two I was into reds this summer is 170 which is an end so it's a night one sequence of love and this one according to Lancome and Sephora is a cool true red and so let's take this off we'll do it on camera so you can see the impact of my lip color on it again this cool sleek case and uh, this is what it looks like It's very, very pretty. Um, I keep seeing a little orange in this. I know they say it's a cool, true red, and maybe it's just on me, but I see a little kind of coral undertone to it. So, beg to differ on the definition. If you look how warm that looks, I don't know. Am I the only one seeing it? I totally see it. Beautiful, great coverage. I get about four hours wear out of this if I'm drinking or eating a lot. Obviously, it's less, but it really doesn't fade in here where I sometimes get fading and then it also doesn't bleed which with a red or feather those are huge problems sometimes with softer reds and since this feels on the lips like a softer red it really does feel somewhat bomb like as opposed to that kind of traditional heavy lipstick thing um, I don't get bleeding I do get slight staining I don't get it with the coral I do get it with this one and I do get it with the next one and I never know for sure no I'm gonna say it I was going to say, I never know for sure because I'm kind of warmer toned with a yellow undertone. I never know if I'm the one who's adding the yellow to the colors. And maybe it is, but I do beg to differ with this being super cool tone. I see a little warm undertone to it. The last one is 181, which is called Rouge Saint Honor. And this one is, again, one of the ends, so a nighttime one. And let's take this one off. I, by the way, think the last one is a great, great summer daytime red. Really pretty for that. The last one. Let's see, this one I think is more cool toned. It's more of a blue based. They call it warm. I don't know. Do you see it? I think this is cooler toned than this one. They call this one warm and they call this one cool toned. Don't agree. Anyway, you can see beautiful, even application. It really does feel bomb like, not like a heavy lipstick. This one again will last about four hours on me. It will stain, which love it or hate it, you get better wear out of the lipsticks that stain. So these are the three I've got. Um, of them, my favorite is actually the 170, the Cool True Red. I missed the name on that one. Sequence of Love. I like. The way that they define them, kind of day, boudoir, and then nighttime, I don't know that I necessarily think you have to live by that, um, but it's a nice suggestion. And I think that is pretty much it. Sheen, not like a gloss, but almost like a gloss. And I think that is it. If you have other colors, or if you have these colors, I would love to hear thoughts. Um, please subscribe on YouTube and kind of a summary of these. These are a lighter wear feel on the lip that last really beautifully long. The colors are so gorgeous and pigmented. They give almost full coverage, but they don't look heavy. Um, the darker shades obviously are giving much more opaque, fuller coverage than I think the first peach did, but that's kind of not so uncommon. And are they worth the $28.50? Yeah, I think they are. I haven't used a lot of other Lancome lipsticks lately, but this particular line I really like. And then also on YouTube, I have a novel called Masks, which I'm putting up chapter by chapter, which is about makeup and the masks we wear. And I think I'm going to start writing about red lipstick. <laughs>